My name is John Piri. I'm a hardworking, passionate, consistent, qualified heavy duty mechanic with more than 10 years experience working on Freightliner, International, DAF and Hino trucks. I've done engine overalls on Detroit Cummins N14 and M11. I've also worked on Kipo, Coiler and Perkins generators. I believe I can be a suitable candidate because of my qualification and hands-on experience. I've worked for Toyota Zimbabwe for six years and I've also worked for Lafarge Cement Zimbabwe as a diesel mechanic for three years. What excites me most dismantling the engines, cleaning the components, checking for the defects, replacing the worn out parts, putting back the engine and starting again the engine and putting it back into life. Minimizing on breakdowns, high integrity, being honesty, working until the work is done. I'm looking forward to work in an energetic, performance driven environment where talent is not overlooked. What makes me different from other technicians is that I am a qualified technician who have hands-on experience and I do not believe in guesswork. I do things according to the workshop manual and I fix things right the first time and I am a resourceful person. I research for problems on the internet. I read books for problems that I encounter which are new to me that have happened to other technicians around the world. I'm also able to use power tools effectively and also I use talks without guessing. And when it comes to diagnosis, I do it procedural. I don't take shortcuts. That makes me unique from other automotive sales technicians. I'm so passionate about uh, working on machines like uh, doing engine overalls, like dismantling an engine and putting it back according to the manufacturer's specification and seeing the engine working 100%. And I'm also passionate on working on suspension repairs like the steering system, the transmission system, the brake overall, and the differential system. And I'm also have the passionate of uh, like doing basic electrical wiring on a track and on small models as well. I think I can add value to a prospective employer because I'm a hardworking person, so I will improve their productivity and also I'll cut back on their comebacks and ensure that the vehicles are operating 100%. I would conduct preventive maintenance without like comebacks without return jobs, without like breakdowns happening for that particular company. I have training experience that I have. I did motor vehicle mechanics apprentice with Wilson Transport for four years. Three years were on industrial attachment and one year I was at college. From there, I worked for Lafarge Cement Zimbabwe, where I got my post-apprentice experience. Then I worked for Plan International as a mechanic driver, where I was applying the knowledge that I learned at college, where I was fixing their fleet of cars, doing medium to major repairs and also I was also responsible for quality checking the vehicles. I was trained there as a professional driver and I've got a certification of being a professional driver. From there I got certification from Toyota Zimbabwe of Toyota Technician Certificate. It was an in-house training which I did for six months. Then I advanced to professional technician course. It was an in-house training as well for six months and I got certification as a professional technician. And I also did the training as a diagnostic and repair technician. I did diagnosis repair technician 
for electrical and for chassis. And I do save technician to me is someone who knows to diagnose a vehicle and rectify the problem. Someone who's able to repair a car to a manufacturer specification. Someone who's able to restore a broken down car to a manufacturer specification. An ideal automotive safe technician is someone who knows how to fix the car the first time and who knows where the problem is, who doesn't rely on guesswork, who refers into the manufacturer's manual for any problems that he or she encounters. The common mistakes that are made in the automotive industry, putting pressure on the technicians. For instance, some garages, they would love to see an automotive technician having a throughput of eight cars, which is very impossible. Because there are a lot of shortcuts that are done in the process of trying to push volumes that most dealers that are doing was for instance an automotive sector technician if he's qualified it depends with the nature of the job that he is doing if there are services like minor services he can push up to six cars but if there are major repairs i believe he can push up to three cars per day and also i've seen that the technicians when they do their work, they do not follow up, what we call follow through on the work that they have done. And then it results in comebacks. For instance, some they use those power tools and they do not like check again with their T-bars. Maybe the torque wrench will be defective. And some of them, they over top. They don't refer to the manufacturer's manual. So they tend to over -talk the bolts. Some of them, they use oil, which is not of the good grade. Some of them, they use parts which are not original because we understand as automotive technicians that we are supposed to use parts that are original, that have a long life. So I believe technicians are supposed to do things according to the book. It's not a matter of guesswork. All the things are in the manufacturer's manuals. The way we can solve these problems is to go back to the basics of automotive sales mechanics. Because the basics of automotive sales technician tells us to do things according to the book. So most of the technicians are doing things out of guesswork. Yet there are manuals that we can refer to. Yet there are many resources that we can source knowledge from. If we can use those manuals, if we can also follow through on the work that we do, and if we can also do the work not in a hurry, and also to have those check sheets whereby we'll be referring to for the work that a technician, he or she will be doing. I think if we can go to the basic, we can solve these problems. And I also think if we can have a reasonable throughput for a technician, for an instance, if the cars is if it's a service, a technician can push up to six cars if it's a low mileage vehicle but for those high mileage vehicles i think the throughput for a safe technician should be three cars because there is a lot of work on highly high mileage vehicles yeah i've worked on a car that had a high mileage and that car that car was having oil leaks on the rear main seal and technicians were replacing this seal and oil kept on leaking from that seal. 
but the problem was not the seal the problem was the engine which was worn out which had excessive blow by so the rings were worn and the excessive blow by was pushing the oil through the rear main seal wow. so we had to do an engine overhaul for that car and the problem was solved what excites me most is working on a nanny start engine that is brought to a workshop and uh, trying to find out the cause of what have caused that car not to start so i'm so passionate about those cars that are brought into the workshop which are nanny start and i'm so passionate working on engines and starting again the engine and putting it back into life that's my passion i love working on engines and also i love working on suspensions like those uh, noise when a customer brings a vehicle with the the suspension being noise i love working on bearings removing shocks replacing tires doing brake overs doing clutch overs the changes that i would make to the industry is that it boils down to the attitude of uh, mechanics um certain mechanics are just like square pegs in a round hole they don't have that passion for mechanics they do not they don't have the heart for the job so what i will do do is to look for those people who have an attitude that enables them to be taught and to learn from today to day mistakes that are made and also I would love to see automotive mechanics relying much on workshop manuals and using those special tools that are there in the industry some companies will put pressure on the mechanic to finish the job within 3 hours which is not stipulated in the flat rate manuals so that gives rooms room to come back it gives room to poor work and now it gives room to breakdowns and necessary breakdowns when a customer comes to the workshop with a problem first of all i confirm the problem so what happens when a customer brings in his car and he or she says it's not pulling the first thing is to confirm whether that problem is there so i'll take the customer for a road test and for sure a certain whether the car is not pulling so when the car is not pulling i then refer to the workshop manual the troubleshooting area it gives me the simple things that i first of all have to check first of all i have to check the safe record of that car whether the car is now overdue for service or whether the car was maintaining its service schedule from there i follow the steps that are laid down in the workshop manual step by step until i resolve the problem and also there is a room for consulting with other fellow mechanics because i believe teamwork is of paramount importance because other technician could have faced the same problem so they can also relate to you how they solved that problem i believe i can add value to an employer's business first by doing the work right the first time minimizing on breakdowns 
and also working until the work is done and also being of high integrity being honesty and doing things according to the company policy and also doing things above board for instance sometimes you are called to work extra time and you should also comply with that to ensure that the company goes on to ensure that the cars are in a good running condition what i do to improve on myself i keep on learning because uh, there are new technologies that are coming so for me to catch up with those technology i have to keep on learning those new technologies going to refresher courses researching on internet and upgrading myself according to the new technology that is coming up as i've mentioned before my qualification will also prove to them that i'm the ideal candidate and the experience that i had in the past 10 years will make me an ideal candidate for a prospective employer and also diligence on my part as i work until the work is done and also being honest and being able to relate to other employees for further description about myself click on the link in the description below.